You gonna let me film? Am I gonna get a chance to oh you're just gonna you're just gonna lay right there? Anyway, welcome back to a video that is not gonna be about dogs, instead is gonna be about frogs, which kinda sounds like dogs even though they're very different. Aren't I so funny and just absolutely clever? I, I just, sometimes I just crack myself up. Anyway, back by popular demand, frog vid. So a while back I made a video that was like a tier list of like my favorite pet reptiles or just pet reptiles that were pretty common in um, in like the reptile hobby. There were a couple frogs in that tier list, just like kind of the, the most popular ones. I thought it'd be pertinent to make like a frog specific video because I know all you guys like frogs. And also I like frogs too and I thought it would be fun because I'm not familiar with that many species of frogs. So I asked you guys in the last video to just give me some suggestions about what frogs I should put on this tier list. And now I have them. Here's the thing though. I didn't do a whole lot of research about these frogs. I thought it also might be a little bit disingenuous to just do like a little bit of research and then accurately rate them as a pet based on that little research that I did. So I didn't do that. So I will be making up different criteria for each of these frogs. This tier list will be completely biased. There's gonna be a huge margin of error. And a lot of people are probably gonna have problems with that. But do I care? Not really. Anyway, I'll include a link to this tier list uh, in the description of this video if you want to rank it on your own. You guys can just just tell me why I'm wrong. But um, I mean, my my word is law. So as far as this channel is concerned, I'm right. Oh, I forgot to close my blinds. Hold on. I hope that's not too dark. It's very dark in here. I bought new lights, but I've been too lazy to install them. Uh, anyway, if you're a repeat viewer here or you're liking what you're seeing so far, you should definitely consider subscribing, but also the brunt of the video is to come. So here you go. All right, so here we go. We got our tier list right here. I'll be making up the criteria as we go along for how I will be rating these frogs. Um, so first we'll start out here with a good old Pac-Man frog. Pac-Man frogs are lovely. Um, I have a friend when we were in middle school and we were both getting our first reptiles, he bought two Pac-Man frogs, had them for a couple years and then they ended up spontaneously dying, which apparently is a thing that can happen to Pac-Man frogs, which is kind of messed up. They just randomly die like that. I don't know. It seems kind of strange. They are really cool though and really cute and yeah they come in all sorts of different flavors including the super blue samurai baby. I'm gonna put Pac-Man frogs between A and B. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna keep them in B for now but I think an argument now you know what let's not even make arguments. Let's not do hypotheticals. They go to A tier. They're really cool frogs and they're a mainstay. All right next chubby frogs. So I don't actually know anything about chubby frogs. The, literally like some of the only pieces of media that I can find on chubby frogs are Go Herping's chubby frog videos. Other than that, I've never seen them at reptile shows. They are very chubby and very cute, but also very elusive and kind of mysterious, kind of sexy. I'll give it a B tier, cause it's just whatever, you know? All right, waxing monkey tree frogs. I see, I don't know if they're waxing or waxy monkey tree. I should probably look that up. They're waxy monkey tree frogs. The waxing is just for like moons and that kind of stuff. So anyway, waxy monkey tree frogs. I thought this was sort of like the default frog to get because every time I go to Petco or PetSmart, like when I was really young, they would always have waxy monkey tree frogs. So I'm like, oh yeah, that's just the normal, you know, middle of the road frog to get. But apparently it's not. They look really cool. They look like white tree frogs, but like a little bit more like cleaned up. Like if someone actually tried to color within the lines and make them more vibrant, they're pretty cool. They got some crazy looking eyes. Waxy monkey tree frogs, you know, just on the strength of the name alone, we're gonna put them into B tier. <laughs> African clawed frogs. Oh yeah, these guys, they look like chimkin, raw chimkin. They're pretty cool. I don't know, every picture or video I see of these things, they're just so, they're, I'm never not entertained by pictures of these frogs. There is that one video of that one that's like super obnoxiously obese, which kind of makes me sad, but it's also kind of funny. Oh yeah, these frogs are just, they're just truly, truly insane. Oh, he's sleeping, look. Aww. That's Darwin, by the way, that's my dog. We're gonna put African clawed frogs in the A tier. I, I might move them up to S, we'll, we'll see though. African dwarf frogs. See, th when I always saw African clawed frogs like on Instagram when I first started getting into frogs, I thought that they were just grown versions of African clawed frogs, but apparently that's not true and that's really disappointing. Um, and these frogs are small, they look more like fish and fish aren't as cool as frogs. So, sorry African clawed frog, you go in the D tier. Fight me on that. Oh, this guy? 
Ooh, so this is a glass frog. Glass frogs are really sick because they're like, they kind of got like translucent skins. So you can see their organs. But the coolest thing is the fact that like, if I saw one of these guys, I would probably put him in my mouth and eat him. And I feel like he would taste like those little gummy candy, like burgers and hot dogs, like those small little meals. So he probably wouldn't taste very good. And just because of that, like he looks really cool and he's very unique, but he probably tastes really bad. So he's gonna go to C tier. I don't even know what this next frog is. I think this is the dainty tree frog. Yeah. Yeah, someone in the comments recommended that I do dainty tree frog and I'd never heard of that before. Let's let's do a quick research because I literally don't know anything about these guys. <laughs> dainty tree frog is a slender medium-sized frog reaching a length of whatever. As if kept as a pet in Australia, the appropriate permit is required. All right, they're a little dainty. They're nice and cute. You know, middle of the road. We'll just put them C tier. I don't know anything about them. I just think why keep a dainty tree frog if you can just keep like a white's tree frog or a waxy tree frog or Amazon milk frog. Like, you know, those, those, those kind of cool guys, those hip and cool frogs. <laughs> I hate myself so much. All right, next, this one was from the same commenter. It is the magnificent tree frog, which I also don't know very much about. This guy gets a couple extra points because it's also known as the splendid tree frog. And like, he's also got like some little fat caps on the top of his head, so. And they're also very closely related to our favorite white's tree frog. So you know what, splendid, magnificent tree frog, you're gonna go to you're gonna go to A tier. I'm sorry. I, you know what? I don't know much about you, but you seem like a pretty cool guy, and I'd love to get to know you. Okay, next we have. Oh god, what strain is that? I can't really tell. Get it? But yeah, mossy tree frog. He kind of looks like a nug. They should call him the nug tree frog. Get it? Cause weed. Just got faded. Mossy tree frogs are really cool. They they look kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> to be around though, just because of the text, their texture is so unique, but they are really, really cool. And they are pretty common pets, um, at least with like exotic keepers and that kind of stuff. We're gonna bump it up to B tier. Shout out Mossy Tree Frog. Surinam, okay, F, F to the Surinam Toad. F, 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 absolutely F. These things, okay. Surinam Toads, I won't lie, they're really cool. I, I don't understand the evolutionary like, like need that these things have. Okay, if you don't know Surinam Toads, they, when they have their, oh, big stretch. Oh, he really likes my bed. That's that free Casper mattress right there. Surinam toes, when they when they lay eggs, the eggs like sink into the parent's back into like these little holes. And then the babies just like they shoot out of like the holes in the parent's back. And it's really gross. And like, it doesn't help with the fact that Surinam toads are already really gross and ugly to begin with. But then you add like the, the element of the eggs and stuff sinking into their back. And it's just nice trypophobia. It's just gross. So it's an F tier, gross. Bad frog. Uh, anyway, next is gonna be the green tree frog. Uh, green tree frogs, they're like everywhere in, in like pet stores and stuff. I don't see a lot of people actually keeping these frogs though, which which tells me a few things. They're, it's like green tree frogs very much suffer from like the green anole problem. They're sort of gathered in mass by people that just like catch and sell reptiles and sold for like five to $10 at, at pet places, which makes them very unsustainable. I don't know if they actually make good pets. My assumption is no, because most of them are wild caught, but they're very small frogs that you probably can't interact with that much. So, but they don't have like the same cool appeal as like a red-eyed tree frog or a poison dart frog. So I'm gonna put these guys in the D tier. Uh, to me, easy S, yes, easy yes. Check, check that guy out. I'm like, I'm such an artist. I should quit YouTube. I should quit my job. I should become an artist and just drawing like, but yeah, this is a tomato frog. I want a tomato frog so bad. There's not a whole lot, like I like frogs. I love my frogs especially, but like there's not a whole lot of frog species that I really like, but tomato frogs are so cute and so funny. <laughs> anyway, okay, I got a surprise for you guys. Hold on a sec. Chumbus, welcome back Chumbus. She's a little sleepy right now just because it is uh, still somewhat bright out. Um, but she is gonna go ahead and sit right here on my shoulder for this video and just kind of chill out Usually if you do hold, handle frogs for an extended period of time You should handle them with like latex gloves or something disposable But a quick hand spray with like some some clean um, like distilled water is what I use um, Just for minor um, like transporting that kind of stuff is totally fine And don't worry about her drying off on my shoulder She's just gonna be here for like 10 minutes and this is just the state that she exists in her cage anyway because my like room is tuned to proper humidity, so chill out. You wanna go now, Darwin? Bye, Darwin. Are you leaving? Maybe not. Well, this is quite the predicament. All right, next species of frog, we got the coqui. Coqui. This is the coqui frog, I think. I think these guys are from Costa Rica, which is super cool. They're really cute. They're named that way because of the sound that they make, which goes 
They're actually like hella invasive in like Hawaii and stuff. And like I heard a ton of them while we were there. Never saw one though, very elusive. I don't know if you really keep these as pets. I assume so because that's, you know, they are invasive, but again, they could have just been transported. The invasiveness is kind of cringe. So we're gonna, we're gonna put them in. Although the noises they make are really cool and they are very cute. So we'll put them in B, but you're on very thin ice, dude. Very thin ice. Chumbus has sort of migrated quite a bit. Cutie, I can't even really see you. I know you're on my shoulder. All right, next we got the rain frog. There's a bunch of different species of rain frog. I think this is a desert rain frog right here. This guy's cute because he kind of looks like he would taste like a Hello Panda. You know, like those little snacks, they like you got the cracker, you got a little bit of chocolate inside. I feel like he would taste like that. Also, they make screaming noises. Also, they're really cute. Kind of hard to find as pets though. Not very cash money of, uh, of them to not be abducted so easily. So we'll put them in A tier because you know, rain frog. Next, we got the cane toad. Oh, D tier, D tier cane toad. Cane toads are really cool. Like they're just these enormous toads that have the big like, like poison sacks on their neck. And they are kept as pets in many places, but they're like one of the most invasive species of animals like in the world. Like they've just destroyed like the Australian ecosystem. And like, I know they're invasive in Hawaii too. Cane toads, Kind of cool, but uh, very, very bad for the environment. There's this video of, of the this family like that has a couple cane toads. I'll just show a clip from it right now. Yeah, big toad. Next is the American bullfrog. The American bullfrog is, it's a little bit invasive. Like they're not supposed to be here in California. I don't think, but there are quite a few. I used to walk around in the storm drains, um, like under and around my school. And I used to find these guys like all the time. And I caught quite a few of them. Here's a picture of one that I raised as a pet for like a month and then I released back into the, into the sewers. But yeah, American bullfrogs are kind of cool. That's sort of like your quintessential American frog. Nothing super special about them. They're gonna go to C tier. Ooh, big bungus, big grungo chungus. African bullfrog, pixie frog. He's gonna go to S tier. It's very obvious. You pet the grungus or you perish and I wish not to perish, so. Next, we got the budgets frog, the Wednesday frog. I mean, need I say more? Need I say more? I mean, they're just, they're so funny. They're, they're so funny. It's weird though, that they're such a large bodied frog that's almost completely aquatic, but they're cool. Yeah, budgets frogs. Amazon milk frog. Okay, I think Amazon milk frogs are kind of slept on. I think they're really cute. They're really big. They're just really cool overall. I just wish more people in the pet trade kept them. Like, like they are very popular amongst people in the reptile trade, but I wish they had like a little bit more mainstream appeal like the White's tree frog and et cetera, because arguably I think they are very close in cute factor. And honestly, like if I ever had to give these frogs away or if they ever passed away, I would probably get an Amazon milk frog as quickly as possible. So S tier. White's tree frog, you already, you already know. You already know he's going to S tier. Need I say more? I really don't think I have to. Isn't that right, Chumbus? Plus I think Chumbus will shrink herself small, crawl into my ear and consume my brain if I give her anything less than an S. Red-eyed tree frogs. Now I did see these guys when I went to Costa Rica. They were so cool. I remember I used to think that red-eyed tree frogs were the quintessential frog because all of the books that I used to read about like wildlife and biomes and like nature and that kind of stuff, all of them featured red-eyed tree frogs. So for the longest time, I thought this was just the run of the mill average frog ambassador, basically, even though it's kind of shifted to become the white's tree frog now. They're really skinny guys. They're kind of skinny legends. I don't know if they make really good pets. I know they're decently common and a lot of people have them. It sucks though, that the majority of the time that you're seeing them, they're just sort of like, curled up and sleeping, um, but they are really pretty. We'll put them in, we'll put them in A tier just because of how iconic they are. Poison dart frogs. Now I have very mixed opinions on poison dart frogs because on one hand, I think they, they do look really, really cool. But on another hand, I just like, I don't know. I just don't really get down with having like these sort of like display animals that are so tiny that they're go by some days that you just don't see them. But I can see the value in them. I think they are really pretty and, and really cool looking, so. We'll put them in C tier, just, just for fun. Last guy on our list, we got the American Toad. I know Go Herping has a bunch of American toads and a lot of videos on TikTok I see of people just like harassing like frogs and toads in the public is always usually American toads. They're really cute though. I just, I love the fact that you can like stack them, do a little toad stacking. Toad stacking is so sick. American toads are gonna go to C tier. Wow, all right, that's the, that's the frog tier list. Kind of crazy, so I had 23 like subjects and then this is how it ended up it's like kind of flat it's not as much spread as i'd like there to be but but you know we did it for science and we got our answers and we're good do you take criticism with the way i laid out this tier list if so please roast me in the comments down below i'd love to know it if you enjoyed this video i'd love it if you subscribe got some more videos coming soon and then in the meantime 